Yo, what is up, all you Stone Cold Superfly Illmatic Fish Keeping Funky Dogs? You watch Aqua Funk Quads with me, Aqua Funk. Now, in my last video, if you haven't watched it, um, titled What Is It Like? All everything you need to know about sponge filters, I explained about sponge filters. Pretty straightforward and basic so that everybody can grasp the concept. Um, and I also mentioned that I was gonna show you some 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 tricks to um, soup up your, your sponge filter, you know, hype it up, um, kind of put it on steroids a little bit um, so you can get even more out of your sponge filter um, for little to no money at all. So here we go. If this is your first time visiting my channel and you learn anything, you crack a smile, anything like that, um, please think about hitting that subscribe button, notification bell, um, leave a comment and please share. Share this out to somebody who you may want to um, help in the hobby also maybe somebody you try to talk to about sponge filters or you know just anybody who think they may benefit from a sponge filter um, maybe they have one and uh, you want to show them how to soup it up boom here we go so yeah share it out um, with your help this channel can grow and I can reach more people and help more people and that's all I want to do so thank you very much in advance let's get into it all right so here I have two sponge hey y'all like my little display thing i have here i think i'm gonna use this for uh like species spotlights for some of the fish that i have i'll put them in here so that y'all can get a real up close look at them um i kind of like this tank you know just just for this purpose so let me know if you think that's you know the lights changing everything i think it's kind of cool so let me know what you think uh in the comments below about this display um for for video purposes so listen here let me take this off right fast I got two identical sponge filters, all right, two identical. Yeah, this one's a little bit dirty. That's because I haven't cleaned it up like this one. Um, it's not, this one is slightly different, and this, this what I wanted to show you, I needed to be identical. So I got two identical sponge filters, and I'm going to show you how they come. When you get them from the store, right, when you get a sponge filter from the store, this is what you get, this cage right here. You see that? That cage, you see that right there? And you see that, that rod that comes down the center of it? Well, that rod goes like this. And the way it works is that the end of this, this little nipple right here, you see that in the center right there? It, it goes over top of here. And these holes on the outside, you see the, the, the holes? The air, the air goes through them holes goes down and goes up you know out the, the little nipple and then up the holes so that's how you get it right we're gonna supercharge this thing a little bit all you got to do all right is take this thing off right here and you see that those those um the little cage part in there now the looks like a wagon wheel in the center well you cut those those braces off those spokes that's the best way I can explain it if you cut those spokes off at the edge this whole piece, this, this whole rod, and those spokes will come out like this. See, you're gonna have, this is going to be wide open. All right? Now, next thing you want to do is cut yourself off a piece of the rod. Don't throw that little rod away. Cut yourself off a little piece of the rod. It's gonna be nasty, but okay. Ew. So you cut yourself off a little piece, a little piece, just like this, of the rod, and you cut yourself off a little piece of hose. Like that. So you're gonna have this right there. You see that? That's what you're gonna have. Now you're gonna take the the rod piece, right, and you're gonna push it into the hole that's on the top right there so that's gonna go right there like that right there right then you get yourself a air stone now depending on how you might have to cut the air stone um rod down just a little bit so that it fits in there and it stay it, it does not go beneath the cage you see that see how it's looking All right, so now that you got that done, you just put it back together. 
All right, you just put it back together. Oh, that's the wrong way. I got to flippity flop it, flippity flop it, boom, like that. All right, so one of the problems with that rod that you cut out is that sometimes it'll get clogged. All right, when it gets clogged, it's not working no more. So you put the air stone in that, and it, it won't it won't get clogged. Plus, it's the size of the bubbles. When you have the regular size without without the air stone, it's just when you sometimes people don't like the bloop 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 bloop, bloop, bloop of the of the big old bubbles hitting the surface. By putting the air stone in it, you'll make the bubbles bubbles smaller. Let me show you on this this house how how much smaller. I, I don't know if that one has. Now, by making the bubble smaller, you're doing two things. One is, you're actually making it work better. Because with the smaller bubbles, you get more of an airflow, I mean a water flow, because of the whole dynamic of um, the void that I explained in the other um, video. So let me get some of this air out the sponge. All right. Oh, yeah, you can see that. All right, you see how white that is? You see how white that is? That's actually um, the, the mass amounts of bubbles, right? But look at all that. Now, that's, that's making the water go faster, in all honesty. A lot of small bubbles move water faster than um, a fewer big bubbles. So now you've increased your um, water flow, all right? So let's let's see what it looked like before, right? Let's see what it looked like before. Okay, that one that one is that 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 one was a little bit dirty. As you saw, all the stuff came out. But you see those bubbles? There's not as many of them. You know, yeah, it makes the surface um, bounce harder, but I don't know if you can hear it. Let me see if you can hear it. Let me put this. I don't know if you can hear it, but with a big old, big old tank, with a big old um, air pump, it would make a lot more noise. By making it, making the bubble smaller, you actually have more water come, going through. Now, let me show you one other trick that you can do with these sponge filters. Um, that I think is, is pretty awesome because I do it in my tanks um, and so that you don't have a whole bunch of small um, sponge filters all over the place let me show you a trick you can actually double them up let me show you how alright so real simple I spilled a little water but that's alright real simple you take the one that you haven't yet removed the, uh, the little tube in there the little stick and you pull it to the side, you put it right here on the side, right? You remove the base, you remove the bottom plate, and you throw it off to the side. Don't throw them away because you might want to do something different, but you put that aside. The then you take the top off of the one that you have right here, right? Switch it. Sorry. Oh, me. You put this now mind you this is the one with the with the with the um that's that's intact that you did not cut up right you put that in there like that put that right there and they actually fit on top of each other so now that's what you that's what you got right there you know now check this out one of these filters is rated for like a 20 gallon so now you have a 40 gallon filter right there I think you can buy one of these filters for like five bucks. So, ten bucks for two two sponge filters, whatever the air pump is going to cost, and whatever the the line is. You know, what, how much would it cost you if you had to buy a whole new um, hang on the back filter, right? So, and the good thing about this is you don't have to. If you have an air pump and you had one filter to run that one filter off that air pump. I mean, the two filters off that one air pump, you have to buy splitters. Sometimes you would have to buy a bigger pump. With this, you don't have to buy anything extra. You just connect your same um, air pump to this. So that's it. That's your little hack. Um, 
I do it with all my tanks and I'll never not do it. I love it. It's great. So I hope this helps somebody. You know, if you if you have sponge filters and they're all over your tank and you just want one sponge filter, there you go. That's my time. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your fish.